Votes for Women by Fort Circle Games has a great solo mode, and we're going to play through a full game for you here today on Legendary Tactics. Now this uh, game has uh, has really impressed me. If you have had uh, a chance to play it, it's uh, it's quite a fun little game, very similar to 1960, The Making of the President. I'm just going to take a quick look at the state and strategy cards that are available. Um, all the uh, cool little check marks and X's and cubes and stuff, and lots of dice. Uh, <laughs> so um, anyway, we're going to uh, play through. Uh, a game against the oppo bot and this is my opening hand i'm going to start oddly enough with the start card and that gets me two campaigners on the board there might be an instance where it might be the second card i would play but uh, i think getting some uh, some stuff right off the bat is not a bad thing the patriarchy also starts with their start card and basically i didn't <laughs> i just took a photo of the after uh of putting up placing all those little cubes anyway um so we're going to get the national uh women's rights convention out of the way before the civil war comes up um, just in case and uh, we're going to get uh, some cubes down one in each region and uh, we're going to sort of free up uh, a few uh, states uh, there from uh, my opposition and look what turns up next the civil war so it's perfect timing unfortunately we lose our progress in congress but um, we're going to just keep on trucking the the congress track becomes a real tug of war especially very early on and really my focus at the beginning is is always on the state cards uh, i want to make sure i get uh, as many of those as possible and uh it's something that the advantages of doing so are just so great. <laughs> so I'm going to focus on that. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of events um, that the Oppobot uh, has that uh, don't necessarily lend itself too well to um, to getting the state cards. So if you can be aggressive, uh, then you can, um, you can grab these state cards while they're available. You can see I'm placing... Uh, one uh, cube per region, making sure to uh, <laughs> to get those um, to get those as as much as possible. There goes the progress in Congress again, and uh, that but that's fine. It's it's uh, if you make very much progress early game in Congress, uh, that's a good thing. But in general, that's not gonna not gonna happen too much. There's gonna be a you might get up to one or two, but um, that's it. I'm I'm happy with that status after the early games. So we claim our first uh, state card and our second state card, which is great. And even our third state card. So um, that gives us a third of the state cards um, right away. So we need to make sure that we uh, stay focused on those. So once the state cards are in hand, then it becomes a race for Congress. Um, and then finally a race for the final vote. So um, yeah, the uh, opponent's event basically just sh shores up the south. And um, <clears throat> we get another uh, <laughs> cylinder in Congress. Lots of buttons. Buttons are great. You can never have uh, too many of them um, as they are useful for so many different things. Um, there's a bit of uh, ground in New Jersey. Um, but uh, that's the end of the turn. And this is the state of the board. So we grabbed the states that we wanted to grab. Um, and, uh, oh, I've got the California state card there. I think I should have claimed it by now, but um, that's okay. The, the Apple bot hasn't pointed out my mistake yet. Um, I, I'll give it away. I do get it in the end. Anyway, here's a snapshot of my cards and the, uh, uh, the strategy uh, cards that are available. And uh, I bid three and my opponent matches me. So... We're just, so there's no strategy cards that change hands. And we're going to place uh, some cubes around, some shoring up New Jersey, looking to get that uh, looked after. Uh, Southern Resentment. Now, we don't have the 15th Amendment in effect. I don't know if you remember from before. I do have it in hand. Um, it's a good idea to play it as late in the turn as possible. If you can, it is such a good card, but you want to play it late in the... Uh, in your turn if you possibly can frederick Douglass really comes through makes a big difference in uh in this region we're just gonna remove a whole bunch of opposition cubes basically grab our new jersey uh state card and uh 
Then we go up against um, George Early, um, who really loves Missouri, apparently. And uh, then we're going to uh, play this uh, card to draw two. And we have the choice between Sojourner Truth and Susan B. Anthony. We're going to go with uh, Susan B. Anthony indicted. Get a, um, another uh, button uh, back and start placing some more cubes uh, around, sort of lining up the next state cards, basically, and reinforcing the ones that we're going after. Um, so um, then uh, we get uh, this one. This one can be really tough, actually, this event, because uh, it can... Those, uh, those events which remove all the cubes of a certain type can be really tricky. Um, but any, at any rate, um, they, they place a few cubes, and so the Civil War is not in effect. We managed to get the 15th Amendment, um, which is great. Gives us a bit of a boost in Congress, gives us some other uh, cubes to place, a fair number of them, and really puts us in a position. So we grab, uh, oh, I, in that other picture, I didn't have California. I did, must have grabbed that. Um, but I got, got it yet another state, and... Uh, the 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 bot does pretty well in this uh, in this game. The challenge is just that it's it's not there's a sort of a a, a leaning towards placing cubes in uh, states where there's a, there's a state card to be had, but the, because the events are a bit scattered, it's kind of hard for them to um, to really focus on that. Um, and in a two player game, obviously the the state cards have much more of a battle over over them um whereas not the that's not really the case uh against the bot you it you should be able to get most of the state cards um in reality because again you can focus your efforts the bot kind of scatters them and uh it's not that it's easy to win against the bot it's actually uh it can be quite tough and the uh but it's something where the uh you know the you know, it's where the, the human aspect, <laughs> the fact that we can take a look at the board state and assess what the best move is, um, I think is a is a key thing. So here's a, a shot at the board, and we move on to turn three. And here's a shot at my new hand here. And uh, I've got some good uh, good options. Even cards that are not useful for their event can still be good, because if you want to keep your... Um, keep your good event cards, but you need to do some campaigning or lobbying or whatever, then I think it's a, uh, it's a very good thing. So we managed to snag the strategy card and we're going to lead with uh, Anna Dickinson and that should uh, help us to, um, again, shore up the states that are, uh, have the state cards. We want to do that as much as possible. And uh, so that's going to allow us to grab three state cards. We just have Virginia left, and we're a little bit behind on Virginia. Now, I did make a mistake here. Um, the first card of the Oppobot was supposed to be their start card for the mid-game, uh, mid and instead the San Francisco earthquake uh, happened to interrupt their play. So you have to forgive me there. Um, I think I made one other small mistake that I caught uh, when I was re-watching it. Um, but uh, overall, this is, a, I think, a pretty good example of, of play. Um, so um, we managed to um, basically just build on our lead there. Um, and unfortunately, we lose all of our congressional <laughs> progress. And this is why I say the, the game becomes a race for the state cards first. And then it becomes, uh, and I needed a campaigner there in order to uh, to take the uh the action that i needed uh, that's a three <laughs> um and i was able to pile uh influence into um, virginia and grab that final state card so that gave us every state card and the winning plan strategy card to work with so we're in pretty good shape um and that yeah these ones these xenophobia cards can be pretty brutal i'm just rolling for the uh, regions here to see which which ones because there's a lot of ties as far as uh, influence goes, it's always a good idea to because of the there are those cards. You if you can if you can pull it off, you want to try to um, split your influence as evenly as possible. It may not be doable, but a lot of the events offer placing one of 
each cube or whatever. So if you have that opportunity to take it, um, again, this one, the nows forms should have been played on, uh, on turn one. Did it have an appreciable effect on the game? I, I don't, I don't think so, but uh, I might be wrong. Um, so I'm going to use the New Jersey card and I'm going to just grab a couple of, uh, of, uh, buttons just to make sure I've got enough, uh, buttons. Cause I've, I didn't see any real opportunity. I don't personally like the, uh, <clears throat> the, um, oh, what's the name of the action that gives you the buttons? Um, not lobbying, not lobbying, not campaign, the other one. Anyway, um, I don't think it's a necessarily a good use of your play. Um, I think in, unless you're comfortably ahead or something like that, it's, it's a bit of a battle. You need to take every opportunity you can to either, um, place cubes, advance Congress, that kind of thing. And so these are all the roles to determine the state in each, in each region. Um, no rules were re-rolled in the making of this video, so this is all uh, true to life. Um, going to start pushing up Congress now. Now that the state cards are all in hand, you can safely transition to the what I call the mid-game. It's somewhat independent of where the card decks are, and that is um, more or less you, you don't need to focus so much on the board state. Obviously, some events will allow you to place or, or place some cubes and so forth. But really, now the focus has to be um, advancing the Congress track. Now, <clears throat> you can potentially uh, focus on the board state and placing cubes if you like. There are some very powerful events that advance uh, the, uh, the Congress track. Uh, however, I think you do that at your own risk, <laughs> personally, because... Uh, if key cards end up buried, uh, you can find yourself really behind the eight ball at a time when you want to be placing, um, you know, these cubes. And so we're at turn four now. Um, uh, this is the, uh, the state cards again, the number of buttons that I have in my held card. So uh, we're going to draw my fresh batch of cards. And uh, so we get the West's Awakening is really good. Here are the available... Uh, strategy cards and my bid of three and uh, what happens here the <clears throat> the opposition outbids me and draws uh, a card and uh, so I was supposed to add four influence to two states and instead I misread that as placing two cubes um, instead and now this may have affected the game in the end I don't know um, but I should have added two more cubes and uh, so that was my mistake other than that the rest of the playthrough as far as I'm aware is mistake free so um, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, start to use the cards that are um, sort of get me cycling through useful events um, <clears throat> and giving me buttons those events those uh, state cards are are fine to spend whenever um, the southern strategy uh, helps out in a big way um, obviously there are some downsides. That's one of the cards which has uh, um, enemy events um, queued to them. So, you know, anytime you see a, a, a card, any, and this is true of 1960 as well, anytime you see uh, a card with great, um, with a huge advantage, gives you tons of, of opportunity, placing tons of cubes, just realize there's an offsetting mechanism where a card is going to come by later. Uh, that's going to offset that. Um, now, the, the West's um, Awakening, I don't believe, does have... This is really, really great. Um, the other thing that I think is important to realize is that, okay, if, once you move on to the... from the uh, grabbing the state cards, you move on to the, uh, the next uh, part, which should be focused on Congress cards... You'll notice I got a little bit distracted in this one because it is tempting. There's, there's events to place, a lot of cubes. You don't want to give those up necessarily, and you don't have to. Um, but you should try and get con everything through Congress at some point um, in or before turn five. You want to have the last number of cards available to play. The, the last aspect, which you'll see here as I'm placing these cubes randomly, um, and I'm going to draw this and see um, if there's a good event. I want, I'm looking, I'm searching for uh, events that move uh, Congress up, but I'll take the National Woman, American Women's Suffrage Association. But I'm trying to burn through the deck a little bit 
to get uh, to get a uh, uh, you know one of one of those cards that gives you um, progress in Congress, especially two or even three. I think there's one event um, <clears throat> that's really really important. So you can see I'm beginning to do the uh, the uh, um, the lobbying action um, to try and get uh, stuff done. Don't worry about the board state. Um, the board state, the state is going to fluctuate. But as I was saying, the, the important thing to remember is that it's very unlikely, especially as a suffragist, you're going to get all 36 states under your, <laughs> under your uh, easy control where you have four cubes or, or more, and they can just convert right to check marks. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, I missed that roll, so I'm going to spend a token to, to roll that one again, make sure I get it. Um, <clears throat> so the, uh, the, really the goal is to just have a majority in as many states as possible. Sometimes it's going to be uh, a, a pretty close, close uh, run. <laughs> I mean, obviously close off as many states as you can. However, um, I would also add that you want to, I would rather have a, a positive two modifier in every state in a region than, ha than have, say, two or three states closed and then the rest are a toss-up. It's just too risky. There's, there's too many um, opportunities for the roles to go poorly. And if you don't have any of the final voting events, um, it can be a real toss-up. So we do make some progress in uh, lobbying, but then we lose it immediately. Um, so we're, <laughs> we've got, uh, a bunch of card placement, um, events, um, but we're just going to keep on focusing on, uh, lobbying until we get Congress. Um, we're going to take some hits here. Um, but, uh, ultimately we, we need to get, and this was tough because, uh, Helen, Helen Keller is a great, uh, a great event there. Um, it's a tough decision. Um, I, I tr rolled a seven and I thought, oh, I'll re-roll. <laughs> I rolled a six, even worse. And I rolled again. I'm like, ah, oh, eight, I'll take it. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily hurt to, uh, if you have a particularly good card to advance, uh, your cause that you use it to kind of, so if you lose a bit of board position and then you play a card once every, you know, two or every three cards or something and catch up a bit on the board, uh, state. It's not a terrible move, but again, the idea is once Congress is done, it's done and you don't need to worry about it anymore. So if you have the opportunity to, um, <clears throat> to, uh, you know, to, to finish off Congress, then, then you should. Now that said, keep in mind, there are some powerful events in the late game deck that uh, you can rely on to some degree. Um, but the timing of them is unpredictable. So, and, and sometimes they may not even enter play. So it can be a problem. Um, and it's something to think about. So, um, the, uh, bot is really going campaigning in the, in the, um, in the, in the, uh, Dakotas and, and so forth. That, uh, region is getting a lot of attention for some reason. Now here's my cards and really there wasn't a ton of, uh, great ones for, for Congress again. This is where it gets risky because it's turn five and uh, Congress uh, has not yet passed the 19th Amendment. So it's a bit of a problem. Now I do get efficient organizing. So I, I spent, uh, I think, uh, four uh, tokens to get five, which is still fine. I'm at least blocking the Oppobots event. Um, so we're going to try this one. We roll a miss. So you're going to have to re-roll and we get it the second time. This gives us again, a little bit of progress in Congress. Um, oh yeah, sorry. That does actually give us enough. We managed to get that, uh, in place. My apologies. Um, so the Applebot leads off with war in Europe, which would have removed one, uh, one, um, uh, you know, a cylinder from Congress. So, um, now it does hamper my campaigning, but that's, not necessarily the end of the world uh, as far as that goes because there's lots of events that allow you to place cubes and uh, you know campaigning is is useful and it's a bit of a pain that it costs more but there are usually alternatives uh, as far as how to uh, 
you know how to how to use that so anyway we're placing some uh, some cubes here and battling back our uh, our uh, positioning and again trying to get to four where possible but um, you know you want to at least make sure the odds are heavily in your favor in as broad a uh, part of the country as possible um, so the American Constitutional League places uh, some cubes and undoes uh, some of my good work there. Um, we rolled uh, into a state that already had um, uh, some cubes in it, or was already opposition controlled, so we're just re-rolling the ones so that we can get a, a state that is um, free, or is that available for the event. Um, we're going to use the Illinois state card, and right now I'm, I'm really beginning to use the <clears throat> the state cards. It's kind of a now or never uh, kind of thing, and again, <clears throat> there's a few that are easily taken to four. We're going to replace those with check marks, and uh, you're going to see basically a state or strategy card play every single card play to get this uh, to get it looked after. Because um, we're just going to try and get uh, some check marks where it's easy, and the rest of the time we want to ramp up the, um, you know, ramp things up for the, uh, you know, for the uh, the final voting. Because it almost always goes to final voting. I mean, 36 check marks is a lot to get in a in a relatively short period of time. So then we have the United Daughters of the Confederacy, which is one of the, the cards that penalizes you for using the Southern strategy. But uh, at, at the end of the day, you know, the Southern strategy is a great card. You, you A lot of times you want to make use of that effect if you can, especially if it gives you uh, some check marks in the South and then it locks down some states. Now, unfortunately, this locks down a couple of states from for the oppo bot. Um, but overall, we're in okay shape. Um, so we're going to remove one card that's in effect for the rest of the turn, get rid of the First World War. Not that that, would pay, that was a real pain in, in, in my neck, but it was more just, well, <laughs> this event needs to be used up and uh, may as well get, uh, you know, get rid of it. So, um, so we did end up doing a campaign action. Um, we figured well might as well and we were able to get rid of the world war one uh, uh card there and so i'm just uh placing my cubes and clearing out the strongholds of opposition um the woman patriot now we do a bunch of rolling to place uh the uh the the cubes in different states um <clears throat> again the the bot is great um this part of it can be a bit there's a few events where you know you have to roll three sets of dice and sometimes re-roll and that you know especially if they hit one after the other they can be a a bit of a pain um but it's a necessary evil i think for the uh you know for the uh to have a bot um you need to have some randomization so managed to lock down another uh state in the south and uh, that was with my uh, state card and then um, we're going to play this card to again um just if, try and have, even if they're single cubes, try and have as many single cubes on the board as possible. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, leave them blank and uh, and uh, hope for the best. But if it's a 50-50 die roll, I don't like those odds. I think the suffragist still needs to uh, stack the deck in their favor. And that's where the, the events of final voting are so important keep rolling I kept rolling uh, I needed a, a, a better state and uh, Arizona was the one um, and uh, this campaigner went to the Appalachians and placed uh, three in Pennsylvania so so I'm going to use the Pennsylvania state uh, card too and these I think events are uh, the events where you place two cubes in a certain number of states and so forth those state cards are best used in turn six um, unless your opponent is locking things down early, like 19th Amendment passed early and and they're getting a, you know, ahead in certain areas. Um, I think that um, it's against the Oppobot, certainly. Those cards are all best reserved for turn six. I have to keep re-rolling. I'm really not happy with this uh, these die rolls for campaigning. They're very average. <laughs> I was hoping for... A bunch, but I'll, I'll have to take these uh, these ones here. So we'll do three in nor the northeast and 
the rest in uh, in uh, the Appalachians here. And uh, you know, not not an impress. Well, we did get a, a few check marks here, but uh, nothing really <laughs> outstanding. Um, would have been great to place a few more cubes, but that's always the case. Um, <clears throat> now, the interesting thing is I got this card event was played when I only had one card left. So, and then it said draw two. So that's what I did. <laughs> I wasn't sure exactly how to play that. Um, these are my remaining uh, state cards um, and uh, so forth. When we're moving into uh, turn six here, here's a glimpse of the board and at the strategy cards. Um, so this is it. Uh, these are This is my last uh, hand. You can see there are some good like Modwood Park and so forth with two congressional cubes. It's a great event, but at this stage of the game, I really want to make sure that the 19th Amendment is passed. Um, anyway, strategy phase, I grab the National Focus strategy card, um, and I'm going to use the Virginia card to draw uh, two events from the deck. And uh, I'm going to end up using Mary Church Terrell. And that's a pretty good, that could be an amazing opportunity. Of course, I roll one and three. And I don't really have the um, the uh, buttons to re-roll. I need to keep them just in case. Uh, final voting and all that stuff coming up. So I can't really uh, waste them. And I don't really have uh, a lot of uh, cards that give me a lot of buttons. Uh, or actually, sorry, I didn't have any buttons, actually. So I get a third campaigner, which is great. This is where the campaign... Uh, action gets really powerful. Um, the Oppobot decides to do some uh, campaigning again and uh, goes into the uh, the plains and locks down North Dakota. And geez, they're getting a lot of really good rolls here. <laughs> so they're going to move to the south, uh, or sorry, the northeast and lock down a couple more states. So that was not uh, not a positive turn for me. Um, Utah, uh, I'm going to use that state card now. Try and uh, flip the odds in uh, my favor in that part of the uh, that part of the world. Um, and we're going to use this as a campaigning action. Now, again, campaigning actions, really um, powerful. Now, the only thing is you want to make sure you get your campaigners um, where they need to be so that you do need to supply of buttons in order to do that. So I'm um, going to just uh, place those uh, cubes there and clear away my opposition. Cheers to no on suffrage. Um, this is going to be, uh, I'm rolling just all the dice all at once now just to uh, uh, save on, on time and die rolling. So anyway, uh, we got, uh, we're, we're, they're replacing cubes in a bunch of spots. So national focus uh, is, uh, I think it's just as well to use now. And uh, we're going to see what we can, what we can do to, uh, again, just ma make as much of the odds in my favor as possible. There are going to be some opportunities to close out uh, some, some states as well. I'm going to uh, take Modwood Park. Modwood Park. So you can see there's a lot of stuff to do in, in the final turn. And really, you want to make sure that you are um, <clears throat> you're utilizing those, um, you know, those cards for campaigning. There really isn't time for anything else. Um, and the last thing you want to do is to have a touch and go uh, progress going into the one of the final action rounds for the the 19th Amendment. <laughs> you know, just get it out of the way. Once again, where Southern strategy uh, hits us hard. Uh, unfortunately, it's not something we could easily avoid, so we'll just have to take the hit. It, the South is, in general, a pretty decent stronghold for the opposition. Um, love this card. Um, I rolled a 9, which is probably about as good as I can expect. Um, so I'm going to place a whole bunch of cubes around. Again, just spreading spreading the wealth. If, if there are ones that are easy to close, I'll do that, but basically I'm trying to just reduce the odds um, of my the um, that my opponents uh, uh, have and then I'm also trying to just ideally just even one cube in every state just spread it out and uh, try and even out the odds as best as possible so um, Florida's leaning towards the opposition and uh, so and th and this is where 
the other aspect is you need to take these uh, late um, voting, final voting events. Um, the Miss Feb wins the vote in that one are just so valuable. If you can win ties and if you can uh, also roll an eight-sided die, <clears throat> I think that that's a, a huge advantage uh, to, um, you know, to the, the final voting. So I'm going to spread out my, um, my uh, campaigners, try and have the biggest impact. Um, I, I've kept uh, the one, I think, keeping one, well, I didn't have the buttons to move them, but keeping one per region as much as possible, I think, is, a, is an okay um, idea. It doesn't allow you to necessarily, you know, power through and um, focus. I, when I had three campaigners on the Appalachian area, that was uh, a pretty powerful setup. And interestingly, the last card of the game is the 1918 Pandemic. Um, which seems vaguely appropriate, <laughs> even though we're um, hopefully moving past that uh, stage in 2023. So um, this is where the board ends up now. And uh, even though I have an edge, there's still, you know, six uh, places which are, um, <laughs> unfortunately, are uh, opposition focused. So we're going to see what Florida does. It's a plus three modifier, a bit hard to overcome. And we do not overcome it in the slightest. So that becomes an opposition state. I really love placing these X's in checks. It was such a smart design decision. They're so satisfying to place. Um, and uh, just visually, I think they add a lot. So just going through the final voting here and uh, seeing what uh, how we do. I'm sorry, the die always rolls off camera for some reason. It seems to know where wherever I'm filming, it always moves off camera. So we lose Georgia. And uh, we still have a long way to go um, as far as um, getting a lot of these check marks down. Obviously, we're going to take the easy ones first, as is the bot. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, without that card to win ties, um, unfortunately, Massachusetts is, is lost. Uh, we crushed Rhode Island, which is great. So quick glance at things here not looking too comfortable um it's amazing you can have uh, a one cube lead in a state and it's still a nerve-wracking uh die roll um but we're basically just going to roll through um each of these because uh in the end it's uh it's uh, not going to matter much to uh, either side i'm just going back and forth between one with a cube in it and one without <laughs> and uh, so here's another snapshot of where we're at so we've been fortunate. We've won a lot of states, but man, this is uh, this is getting still a long ways to go. It's surprising. So we're going to roll Colorado now. And fortunately, we, we seem to have Lady Luck on our side, uh, as you would figure she might be. She probably wants the right to vote. Um, <clears throat> but we do lose in Wisconsin. And so we're we're kind of under the gun now. Um, we've got, uh, and we again, losing Michigan, close roll. And that's why even one cube, I mean, it's helpful, but look, we've got two left each. So this is <laughs> kind of crazy. So Indiana goes to the opposition. So if, if the opposition wins one more die roll, then we're toast. Vermont, fortunately, votes uh, in favor of the amendment. And here's the final roll to decide the game. Seven to one. And New York uh, goes, uh, votes for, votes for the votes for women. And the suffragists win the game. So you can see, even though I felt I followed a solid strategy, this is a close game. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.